Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial for the Sigma WordPress theme. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to put animated SVGs into Revolution Sliders so you can create amazing um, slider animations. If I just reload this page here and you'll see the actual circle design that we've got here animate back in. So you see that animating there, really unique to the to the Sigma theme is this. So I'm going to use I'm going to use our logistics theme. So again, Sigma is multi-purpose. So I'm going to use the logistics theme here just to do this example in this tutorial. And I've got a small Photoshop file here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a white world with a slight opacity on it and I'm going to get that to animate in so that we can increase the, the level of design within the slideshow so you can see that there isn't one there at the moment. So what I've done is all I've done is I've gone straight to Shutterstock. I've found uh, we've got an account on Shutterstock so I've found a world design that I like so I've downloaded this this uh, as a vector file so if I just close that now so that's where you can get your resources from and then if I open this up this is the Shutterstock file oops sorry wrong program so if I just open that up I'm using Adobe Illustrator for this demo but you could use your own vector based software so there's the artwork that downloaded direct from Shutterstock and then what I've done is I've created a new Illustrator file to a specific size so what I've done is I've obviously measured the size that I want it for on our slideshow and you can see here that we've got a width of 480 pixels width and height so that's that's the size of our document and then I've taken this from here I've just tidied up the vector slightly just to make it a little more simple but this is the the uh, vector file pretty much down from uh, Shutterstock so what I'm going to do now is I need to change the color of these uh, vector lines and, and fills here so that it matches the Photoshop design that I've put together because we need a white world if I can call it that so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the stroke here and we're going to set that to white and we want an opacity so if I just get the opacity tool just get the right tool here I'll bring that over here and we want to set this opacity to 40% so that the white stroke is at 40 percent so then if i just what i need to do now is just select all the other parts of the world just make sure i've got all them and there is another piece up there so i'll just zoom in and get hold of that and then just i'm just going to delete it and then bring it back just make sure i've got it so we've got everything there so all i'm going to do now is make that fill with white and then we're going to set that to 40% so it's the same as the stroke so we've got our world there now at the moment so if I just save that it keep, uh, keep a copy of my .ai file the illustrator file but what we need to do now is we just go save as and we're actually just going to save as SVG so we click save now we're not actually going to save the SVG we just want the code from the SVG so I'll click more options and you just need to make sure that in Illustrator we're using presentation attributes and you've got all the options ticked off uh, for the SVG to work so now I click the SVG code button at the bottom here and again here all we do it opens up in a text editor if you're on a PC you might open it up in notepad but all we need to do is look for the code where it starts with the SVG uh, tag and we just need to copy it all the way down to the bottom to where it closes the SVG tag so I'm just going to copy that text so we can close that file now we can cancel that and we can actually close the illustrator file as we don't need that anymore and then within your folder structure within the uh, file that you've downloaded from theme forest you'll have all your, your different files uh, folders in, in the actual package we need to go to plugins enliven them animator and then we need to double click open up the animator which is the the, uh, the dashboard that will help us create the animated SVG so all we do paste the code into that uh, window there click the proceed button and you'll see here we've got we've got the bounding box which shows us the size of the illustrator file but if we hover over each of the elements here you can see that we actually have the individual vector parts of the of the file so what I need to do again there's, there's more detailed tutorials on all the settings within the enliven them SVG um, editor which you've got links to their website and we go into a bit of detail with the different things but what I'm going to do here for this tutorial is I'm just going to set this to one half uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the world so all the, the 
the countries within the world design i'm going to select that group and then i'm just going to say draw lines and we're going to say we want to do this over a duration of around 4000 which is four seconds we want the color of the draw to be one uh, to be white and we're going to set the width to a width of two so we can set that there what i'll do is i'll just i'll just change the color of this so you can see it so if i now click the play button you can see the color of that coming in as blue in fact i'm going to thicken that up actually i'm going to take that up to four and you can see the line thicken up there so that's a nice thick line for the for the uh, slideshow so i'm going to take that back to what well i'll leave that as blue for now and then if we click on the circle so then all we need to do is go draw lines again and it will keep the same settings from the previous uh, element that we styled and if we click the play button you'll see the whole thing animating there so now we can see that it's animating right all we need to do is change the color back to white so we'll set that to white set that to white and so everything's there now we could pl click the play button we're not going to see anything because we haven't actually i mean it shows you what elements are animated so i'll just click the results button and i'm going to select all that text copy it and then all i need to do is go into our text editor and I'm going to create a new blank text document. So again, on Mac, we're using text edit. On a PC, you might be using Notepad. And we just paste that code directly into a blank text document. If I click the Save button, and then all I'll do is give it a title. So we'll call it World Anime Anim. So what we need to make sure that we do is, we, I'm just going to uh, choose where I'm saving this file. But what we need to make sure we're doing, so I'm saving it to the desktop, is we just need to make sure that we give it the dot svg uh, suffix on the end of the file so i'm going to click save now use dot svg so i can close that text file now and if i just drag this into the video you can see here we've got our file world and svg so we've created that we don't need the editor anymore so i can close that now what i've got here so i'm on the logistics uh, theme demo and i've opened up revolution slider so i've gone ho over here opened up home slider for that and then i'm in here now so this is these are the settings for the revolution slider for the logistics theme so one thing that we need to do if we're using svgs in the uh, revolution slider is we need this little piece of code here now this code is in your documentation and we explain how you do how you use it but this video is going to show you so all you do is copy this piece of code and we're just going to paste it in the javascript area for revolution slider and then all we do is click the save button and what that does is it allows the svg to call the script so that it can actually play the animation so we're going to the slide editor now so i'm actually going to go and edit this slide so if i scroll down here you can see we've got the slide here and all i want to do is i want to click add layer image and we're going to upload world anim svg i mean i've got an old one there which i can actually delete because i don't need that now i was just doing a test but yeah so you can see there we've got the world anim so i just insert that and you'll see we get that onto the uh, canvas here for the slider so i'm just going to center that into there and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this behind all the other elements on the screen because i want it to be behind the buttons and then what we do is so that we can so what i'll do is i'll just save this here now so i'm going to save that slide and we'll just update the front end so that you can actually see the graphic get on there the svg on there but there won't be any animation at this point so you can see we've got the world on there so now to make that into an animated world we need to add a class to it so all we do is click on so we've got the image selected attributes classes enliven them and it's the exact same class all the way across the theme if you're using the icons or anything like that so we just tab off that click the save button and then if we go to the front end of the site we'll actually see this animating now uh, now i will have to amend the slide slightly to, to, to get the timings correct but you'll actually see the world animating so you can see that there so we've seen the world animating so what i'm going to do is we're just going to edit the timings for some of this so i'm going to get the world to come in straight away and we're just going to push back some of these so we'll set that to two seconds again you've just got to play around with these times try and get them looking correct for you for your theme and uh just try and get the the, the best look in the best time layers and graphics that we can here so i've done that i'm going to click the save button now hopefully 
the world will come in before all the other elements on the slideshow. So you can see there the world drawing in and we get worldwide solutions. So I'm just going to change that again slightly just to uh, push that a little bit further on. So we're going to push it to three seconds. And we'll just save that again. But you can see now how quickly I've created that animated SVG. We've added it to Revolution Slider, so you can add these SVGs all over the Sigma theme and the different demos, and you'll see the world draw in there. And again, I think I probably just need to push that a little bit further on, just slightly. I think I'll go to a, about here for the rest of the uh, elements on the um, slide again. So we'll just put that there. Reload the home page. And there we go. I'm happy with that now. So that looks really cool. So I'm just going to show you that again. But we've got plenty more tutorials for SVGs and all the other elements on the, the theme. So look at the world draw in there. Again, this is unique to the Sigma theme, giving you the ability to create your animated SVGs with no coding knowledge required. We show you all the bits of code that you need to just copy and paste. You don't actually have to know any coding. It's just a case of copying and pasting. So again, just beautiful animated SVGs created within the Sigma theme and all the resources we give you. So thanks for watching the tutorial. There's plenty more coming in uh, over the coming days and weeks uh, as the theme grows and gets popular. So uh, come back soon. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.